Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this video. In this video set, I'm going to be replacing this sidewalk with a new floating concrete style staircase. The interlock here was in decent shape. Um, you know, the, this is interlocking concrete, so this is pre-casted concrete. Um, with little aggregate in there. Um, now this uh, this this was in decent shape, but uh, but there was way too much slope. Right where I'm standing there, to the driveway, had about two a two foot drop within about ten feet. Um, so the customer found that it was slippery, and uh, what I'm gonna do and what I'm doing is just ripping it up here, uh, just using a good old wheelbarrow and a pickaxe throwing these into the wheelbarrow and wheelbarrowing it around to the dumpster bin just behind the wall there. Alright guys, let me know, I changed it up a bit, had you watch uh, real life footage there with no voiceovers or anything. I uh, just want to see what you thought about that and uh, if you had any questions. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm just continuing here and what I'm doing is just removing this interlocking concrete. Uh, now there was a, a waterproofing membrane put over top of an existing concrete porch and then they put gravel on top and then they're interlocking uh, concrete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep that membrane, use the gravel, and basically cap the porch as it is as a floating slab, uh, and then build the steps down the sidewalk there. Concrete forming is this DeWalt. 
able to record the skill saw. Um, it's great for a number of things, but uh, but I mean it's really lightweight and the batteries seem to last long enough for what I need them for. The first key to success is to measure your height. I measured from the top of the driveway to the bottom of the door sill. Then I calculated how many steps to put in and the slope I would require on the entire staircase. I also measured the house to make sure the house was square and that the wall was straight so that the sidewalk would be straight and square with the house. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll lay out this 2x4 to give me a guideline as to where everything is going to lay out. That way I can measure down from the top of the 2x4 to figure out how much slope I have and that the, um, the sidewalk is going to look good and also be functional. So what I'm doing is I'm just checking to make sure that this 2x4 is level and then what I'm going to do is figure out how far down I have to drop the steps and how much slope I require as per each square foot. Alright so I got my first inside step form in and uh, this is attached to the porch area and essentially what I've done is I've just marked an area here where the first step is going to go and uh, I've plumbed it and leveled it and made sure that uh, I know where these steps are going to line up. For small steps and sidewalks like this I like to use 2x10s or 2x12s um, to make sure that the concrete's going to go deep enough around the edges and that uh, it leaves a nice clean finished uh, concrete step afterwards. So now what I'm doing is I'm using a 6 foot level to check where the next step's going to be. So the first step is further back. Now I've sloped it and I'm going to mark where that second step's going to go. And essentially what you're doing is you're using the wood as a template to build off of. Now on the back side of this wood I have screws and uh, forming stakes to hold this board up so it's nice and solid and uh, I can use it as a template to work off of. great because now I can use that uh, 2 by 12 to make sure that the front of the step is plumb and that way when I put my step form on I can already have a pre-made template in and just follow my pencil line to screw everything in place. Alright guys we reached the end of the first video. Feel free to come back and check out the next videos. Also if you live within the Waterloo region check out my website theartofconcrete.ca Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. I want your feedback. Thank you.